Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to talk about fresh release from ICM. So this is a figure set in 116 scale and it copies Roman Gladiator. So it's a part of their, I would say, fantasy uh, sets in large scale. It's a solo figure but it should be super detailed because it comes in large scale. And we have a commercial sample here so it means you will get exactly the same stuff as what you will see in this video review. So we are going to open it together and check what is actually included here. So first of all box size is typical for this series here you can see comparison with my hand we have really nice box art which actually shows uh, what the figure looks like. Next on this side not on this one not on this one but here we have some information about the kit so there are 44 parts just for one figure so I guess this should give you some idea about what features are copied in this kit and on the the opposite side we have another name of the kit so nothing interesting and here we have everything sealed with a uh, sticky tape so I'm going to cut through in order to open it and in the meantime let me remind you that you can support us by a small donation by joining our YouTube membership join button should be somewhere here or you can do donation via support button on our desktop version of the website it's done via PayPal so it's quick and safe and of course you decide how much you would like to send us and be sure that all this money will be actually used for new kits which will be uh, appearing in this video reviews or they will be used in order to get Get some new equipment which will improve quality of this video reviews and you can see the progress with your own eyes just check our old video reviews i think it is noticeable okay so box is open we should remove this color printed top lid here it is quite flexible and then we have sturdy white cardboard box which should protect everything inside we open it as well and here is what we have inside so everything is packed into one plastic bag and then we have assembly manual on the bottom so we will check everything one by one just give me a second of course first we will open the plastic parts and take a look at them okay so what do we have here? I suggest we start with a grey plastic sprue here. So it is dedicated to main figure part. So maybe I'll place it here like this. It will be in the center. Now let's zoom in. And now you can see what do we have here. Let's open the... Mm, actually camera is open so we can increase the sensitivity maybe it will be better and we can actually zoom in as much as we can because it's better to show these parts closer so here we start with the body parts and you can notice that parts division is difficult actually different from all the small scale figure releases because we have actually body parts separated into several elements and this is quite unusual I would say for figures and of course it will imply a bit of work in order to smooth this for example seams or gaps between these separate body parts so be sure to keep track of all this stuff in order to have a natural looking model for example here you can see the torso is glued out of two halves the same can be said about head as you can see the top section is molded separately and legs they are also separated into several elements which is quite unusual and also inside in these body parts you can notice that for example torso does not have any guiding elements but we have these guiding elements in the armor which is quite unusual again because usually <laughs> you get the uh, position elements in all parts which are separated into two halves but here we get it somehow in this state okay next we continue with this black plastic sprue so this one is dedicated to the uh, special top and bottom covers for the figure stand i guess there is no surprise if you saw the previous reviews with figure kits from icm here you can see what we have from the opposite side and next we have another gray plastic sprue so this one is dedicated to the armor and also to various equipment of this guy so let's close the camera a bit so that it won't be that bright so we have here a shield we also have some armor plates which will be placed on the figure we have helmet and uh, the armor shield i guess or maybe it will be a frontal plate i think so 
okay and let's flip it over here inside you can see that some parts feature details inside for example shield because it would be strange to have a plain looking part here and everything looks really nice especially for such big scale let's not forget that this is 116 scale so in case you wonder what is the actual size of the shield here is comparison with my fingertip it's really big and the assembled figure should be also quite tall so keep it in mind because it's not a small figure which you can combine with the 135 scale set next i'm opening this plastic bag so just give me a second to get it open because here we have this central section of the figure stand and you can notice that it is comes in a one piece shape so it's just a matter of combining the top and bottom lid here and you'll be good to go all in all it looks nice and that's really cool to have the stand out of the box so basically you don't have to spend your money to get a figure stand for this guy and you can also modify it as much as you want maybe paint it in a different color or maybe even replicate the different top cover based on this plastic plate Next we have an assembly manual, so this one comes in form of a simple printout, so just give me a second, I'll reduce the sensitivity so that it won't be that bright. Now it should be better I think. So here you can see that we have a parts map on the cover page. And there is no history note, surprisingly. I wonder why they do not include any history notes in these figure sets. It would be interesting to have some back history for one of these guys. And I mean, historical background is usually handy. It can give you some idea. It maybe even can inspire you in build. So I really wonder that why they miss on such opportunity. And here we have the marking guide, which is combined together with assembly manual. So it might be a good idea to track the small codes of the paint numbers so that you get everything in a right paint shade but we can zoom in even closer so that you can check this figure in detail so you can notice that this soldier will be in the helmet and you remember that head is still promoted it features the special facial features so it's really cool in my opinion because maybe some others would like to replicate something different so they have it included out of the box and last but not the least is this small poster which copies box art maybe it would be a good addition to your cabinet in order to frame it and place it on the wall so nice small bonus i wonder why they don't do this stuff with aircraft kits because it would be also a nice idea to have it out of the box so this kit should be already available you can get it in my Max web shop of course i will be happy to hear your opinion here in the comment section below if you like this video don't forget to press the like button subscribe to our youtube channel and i will see you in the next video review as usual thank you for joining me today and bye